guys, welcome back. This is episode 15, I think. Ugh, I haven't been playing much, because, uh, Skyrim ki- Alright. I wasn't expecting him to be running around. I've been trying to get this thing to work better, but it just- I have no idea. I don't think it's too bright, because it said it needed to be level 13, um, I think, for the mushrooms to grow. Maybe I was just wrong, but that would make this one 13, and then 12, and then 11 in the glass block, and then- 10 in there. So, I have no idea. And y you can just die. Um, I did... Ooh! New sound effects. You couldn't hear that. Um, I did upgrade to uh, pre-release... I mean, the release candidate 2, just now. Um, I haven't been playing much just because... Um, er, because Skyrim came out. And... I haven't done anything <laughs> productive since then. Um, so, yeah. I haven't moved anything. Like, I, I literally haven't played since... Ooh, sound effects! I've heard that actual doors are broken. Ooh! Okay. You can't hear that, but it sounds cool. So, yeah. Um... I'm lucky to have gotten t uh, two things on that one. Anyway, um, yep. Yeah. So, okay, this still works. Because I know they messed with redstone, and a lot of it changed. So I'm glad this one still works, too. Or, I shouldn't say a lot of it changed, but some things changed that are just, like, unfortunate, because and I'm stuck in my glass. <laughs> Except I can just walk out. Um, that's one of the good things about having the glasses that you can't get stuck in it. Anyway, yeah, so, um, I, I don't know if I would expect too many videos, um, until, <clears throat> until like, what's what's the date today? Hold on. Um, it's the fifteenth. Um, on the eighteenth, when they release Minecraft, like, official, um, I might come back in and play a game, or I might even just make a new world. I, because I hate changing versions. Um, my door opens fine. I don't know. Maybe it was just. Oh, maybe that was pre-release 6. I don't know. Um, I think they released the candidate quickly after they released the one before it, so I'm not really sure. Um, <clears throat> let's see. What do I want to do? Um, if I make a mob trap, it's going to have to be... It's going to have to be underground. And, like, I think that's going to be my next big project. I don't know if I said I was going to do a next big project last time, but, uh... Like, I might just make a quick wheat farm up on a floor above this. And then... Uh, specifically out that way instead of going out this way again. And then... Or I could just actually... No, I couldn't. Never mind. <laughs> I was going to say I could just, like, go this way, but... Um, that wouldn't work too well. But I'll probably go that way into the mountain instead of going back out this way just because if I were to do it the other way, um, I would have two layers of... Because I'd have to have one for the stone and then one for the dirt, and then you'd see it and it would be all ugly. So, this, this bothers me. <laughs> I, I still just want to tear these down and replace them. Yeah, I'll do it. Oh, I'm on the ladder. That's why. Okay. It was taking a while to break it, and I was like, <laughs> why isn't it working? And then I discovered why it wasn't working. So, I'm just a little slow. Don't need to worry. Don't need to worry about it. I can't talk. I hope you can't hear my mom's music in the background, because she likes to play her music incredibly loud at, unfortunately, early times in the morning. Um, so, yeah. It's 10.30 now, and I woke up like an hour and a half ago, because she was slamming on my door. <laughs> um, anyway, I almost got a job, and then I didn't, so that's cool. But, uh, yeah. So, um, what am I doing? Um, yeah, so I wanted to, I just wanted to let you know that, um, I wouldn't be doing too many videos, and why I haven't been doing too many videos recently, because I've got, had Skyrim, and it's fantastic, and you should buy it if you haven't, assuming it's not sold out everywhere, and, blah, that was, I don't know, 
I don't know what that was. Um, sheepies. Baby sheepy. I accidentally sheared the baby sheep when I was trying to shear one of the big ones. It seemed to give me the same amount of wool, though. I really should just, like, set up some water behind there with some pistons, just so I can, um, then just set, like, a lever up here that sends signal back behind so I can just, um, or actually, I might just, like, put it on the sides. Just that way, because it's hard to get the things from the animals, so, like, especially with chickens when they've got eggs, it would just push the eggs to the front, despite the, well, then again, the chickens are already just, like, walking straight up to the front of this thing, so. Chickens are weird like that. They need to back <clears throat> back up. I'd, I'm afraid to punch one, or else <laughs> like, I'll probably kill it. Um, but if I just set some pistons back there with water, it would push forward, and all the items would get dropped off on the other side of this fence, which I can then just easily pick up by walking into the fence. So, yeah, I might just do that. And, oh, eating sounds. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I feel like a little kid at a playground or an electronics store because you know I was a weird kid. Um, okay, I'll take two buckets. I might as well just like start that now. Um, I'll I'll pause the recording and then once I've got the whole framework for one set up, I'll show you guys and then I'll just do the other ones myself. And I need to find a way to get these sheep in a pen. <laughs> Um, like outside of this, because I'm going to use them as the example one, where I, uh, I'll just do it in their pen, and then do the rest off camera, because I want to get the sheep out of here, so that they, um, okay, okay, sheep, sheep, go that way, you got tons of free space now. All right, cool. No, mm -mm. <laughs> really, really. You you always as soon as I open that thing, they always come running out. But then, you know, I go and remove it, and then they won't leave. Anyway, so um, I did grab sticky pistons because I want to have um a nice clean have it show, you know, clean stone up here with the water behind it, and oh, I forgot to actually grab the water. So, <laughs> I'll pause the video and then go do that. Okie dokie. So, I think I've got everything set up. Um, the, okay, I can hear creepers, and they're scaring me. But, uh, anyway, okay, so I think this is the block where the... Nope, I guess not. Um, <laughs> is this the block? Nope. Now I'm confused. Oh, right. That's... I put that over the... Mm-mm. Okay. So this this block right here is where the, the lever will be on. So I'm just going to go this way. Oh, I suppose these two spaces weren't necessary. And... Wait. No, that won't work. Okay. Um... And then, yeah. Um, eh, good enough. Um, except, no. I'll do that. There we go. And then I just need to fill those in. And then, I don't know how to get up. <laughs> I'll just do this. Um... That one needs to be regular stone. And then... That one doesn't need to be. Those two do, actually. And then... I can put... The water there. And... <coughs> there. And then... Place these down, and there we go. That should work perfectly fine. I'll get these guys back in because I've only got 20 seconds left on my recording, and then I'll come back to you guys. All right, and it works great. So I can just flip the switch, and it'll push the it'll let the water come out, 
and flip off these uh, these things over here. The way it just works is that um, I realize I didn't really explain it. The tor the power from this is inverted, so by default they're up the pistons, so the water is held back, and then um, it just goes down into some repeaters to go directly into the pistons because. Um, pistons work weird, and you can't just run wire next to them to make them work like you can with other things. Like, for instance, oh jeez, um, I'm running out of time, so I'm a little worried. I can't just go like this to power them. I could go like the oh, that's that's why. Okay. Um, I could go like this to power them, but that would require me being able to see them through the floor. Anyway, I have to go, so uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.